Okay, y'all, we have a very challenging project to work on this week. It is a little clock, as you can see, and it will be a working clock. So this is, like I said, a real challenge. I wish I had done it bigger, but it is what it is. So let's get started. So this is the template we're working with. I found this clock design online. I think it's a children's clock and it's selling for um, maybe $88. But of course, we are going to make it ourselves and it's not going to be as refined because you could clearly see that theirs is like a machine built or whatever, but we're doing this by hand. I'm starting out with, uh, I'm not sure how thick this wood is, but it's probably under a half inch or at a half inch. I glued together two pieces of wood to make it wide enough. So anyway, I traced our design on here. And we're starting out with this part. This part here will be a separate piece as well as this paw here. Everything else will be, oh, I've got it upside down. Everything else will be one piece here. I've, I know I've traced on all this design and right here is where you could just route out all the different places really nicely, um, all the different detail and make it look really good. But I am going to instead do a little layering, not everything. I'm going to be layering the eyes, the nose, this leaf, and this hammer, if you can see that, that hammer on the backpack, and his legs, his paws, are going to all be layered. Everything else will be flat and just painted on. I've also traced my layered pieces onto this really 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 thin plain piece of wood i think it's probably an eighth of an inch thick i would have loved to have this strap layered as well but the clock face has to go right here as you can see from the template and that would make the the numbers a little challenging i'm going to use vinyl that i cut out with my cricut machine to put the numbers on hopefully that will work out let's move to the scroll saw and cut this piece out side cut which I used my uh, power drill to put a hole here so that I could feed a scroll saw blade into it and cut it out. I made a hole here where I think the, um, the clock face will go and the hands will come through here. I hope it'll be in the right position. What I have here is a, a clock set that, with pendulum that I bought from Amazon and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Let me show you what I have. It comes with a pendulum but I'm not going to use this. And it comes with three different, I think is it two or three? Two or three different hands. I'm going to use the black ones but they're so long I'm going to have to trim them to fit with this little piece with a clock. It also comes with the mechanism for attaching this piece to the back of this board. This comes through the hole. Um, comes through the hole like that. But it doesn't come up high enough. So what we're going to have to do is on the back, I'm going to trace out Let's see. I'm going to trace this and then I'm going to use the my router to route this out a little and go in so it'll come out more when I push it through the hole. 
these hands you have the minute hand the uh, hour hand and the second hand they all have to clear the arms so when I attach the arms like see I cut this out it'll go here right and the other leg another leg will go here like this and they these have to come out enough so that they go skim over top of these arms so I have to push this through more that means to that means insetting this piece into the back so first I'm going to trace it and then um, use the router to route it out okay so I traced it out use the pencil here and I'm going to use the router to route out this section so this can go in deeper okay I ended up routing this out to one quarter inch deep and that worked to make the mechanism come up high enough so that I was able to clear the arms um, once I put the hands on. Okay, so now it's time to sand these pieces and refine them. I'm going to use my rotary tool to try to get a little bit of definition so that the claws sit out, stand out more. I'm probably going to use a combination of this small sanding drum and this little a uh, bit here it's got a little I don't know if you can see it a little ball on the end very very tiny I'm going to use my rotary tool to go in here and around here so that the the claws stand out then I'm going to sand down a little bit of this so that this goes downward a little and clean up I'm going to clean up all these little bits here if you can see them all the roughness I'm gonna to try to clean it all up as well as I can I did a terrible job of trying my best to engrave this a little bit at all the lines because like when I start panning over it I can't worry about like where the strap is or where this is I have to paint the just the big solid colors and just let it be what it's going to be these birds are very simplistic and weird looking so I don't think they look good until they're fully painted so I had to make some lines to know where to put these obscure different colors because it's crazy looking. Just They just look like big clumps. So I put some lines to help me out. Like I put lines here for his the rim of his hat. Hopefully it'll turn out. I didn't do everything and it all does. I mean it looks kind of raggedy. I'm not worried about it. I think once the paint goes on there it'll be okay. Um... I also, like I said, did did these try to emphasize, can you see, it's very subtle because it's so thin and it's very rough, but the claws stick up a little bit. Um, I did this, this hammer or this hatchet off camera because it was so tricky and actually I had to make it over because I snapped it as I was trying to show it on film. <laughs> so it's really rough, but you know just a little variation to make it look more real it's going to go in here right here like that for these leaves I wanted to I wanted it to look like this leaf is bit behind here so I gave it a little bit of a, a lower level here if you can see that unfortunately it took off that line in the middle because I did do a I did uh, engrave a little bit of a line down both of them, but when I tried to lower this one after the fact, it took it off. But I'm not worried about it. I'll just use paint. I'm just glad that it looks lower. So um, now I'm going to clean these, clean all the dust off of these and 
Let's get ready to paint. I'm going to be using some of these acrylic markers. They're paint pens. I, I like them so-so. Some colors I like really a lot. Others not so much. I'm also going to be using some um, apple barrel paint. Mm, and yeah. And I'll just put the names of the paints on the screen as I go along. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just not going to talk. I'm just going to paint. That we finished all the painting it's time to start gluing on the paws the paws the eyes nose and the leaf etc i made this paw extra long because this one will go behind the body it will be attached to the pendulum in some way hopefully and i'm not sure how long i want it because it has to really come up um high enough for me to feel comfortably that it shows and i'm not really going to have a firm a firm idea of how long it needs to be until i get the middle uh, mechanism attached so i'm leaving that long for now i might have to touch up no actually i probably won't have to touch up any paint if i cut it shorter um, because it'll be on the back all right so let's go ahead and start attaching everything now the eyes are going to be like this and i'm not going to i'm not going to glue these right away because i'm going to do it off camera so i can see without worrying about getting my head in the way where it should be i'll just kind of place it like think like something like this i'm not exactly sure yet Something to that effect, okay? And then the hand, the paws, let me see. This paw will go down here. 
like that. This one will go here like this. And this one, did it, did you put on screen? This one will go here like this. And that's how he's going to be glued. Oh, and then we're going to put the leaves here like this. That's how everything will be glued on. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to be using this Elmer's Clear Glue to glue everything. I'm not going to glue the hammer on until I do the straps of his backpack. I'm going to paint on the straps of his backpack after I get this paw glued on and know that it's stable. Then I'll do the straps. Then I'll put the hammer in place over here like that. So I'll be right back after I've glued everything and then it's set. Now it's time to make the strap that goes down around his arm here to hold on his backpack. I'm just going to try to free hand it because I don't you know I don't have the lines anymore so I'm just going to just make it work there we go and now I will glue the hatchet on There is our clock so far. What we're going to do is move to putting the numbers on here. And I hope I didn't check to see how the numbers would go with this arm. I totally forgot. I may have made it too long. And now that I'm looking at it, so I'm not sure. All right, y'all, pretend that I didn't completely forget that I was supposed to put the numbers on here and that I made the arm too long and blah, blah, blah. The 11 and 12 are what they are let's just pretend it's perfect and that's no problems <laughs> now what i need to do is figure out the pendulum this is going to be the pendulum going at the bottom of the piece and then the arm is going to be at the top like for example i'm going to somehow i'm not sure how attach this to this piece here which is the pendulum i'm going to attach this at the top but it's not going to be this long. I just have to put this whole piece in here and measure how the length of each one. Now, the thing about pendulums is apparently there's a magnet here. I think this is the magnet. I'm just guessing. And the pendulum works by the magnet. I don't know how, but when I put a battery in here and it starts ticking, you know, and all, keeping time, if the pendulum is the right length, it will click in the exact time. I mean, it will move, it will swing back and forth in the exact time of the second hand. If it's too long or too short, it's a different rhythm. I don't know how this is going to work out. If I can't get the rhythm, I don't care. You know what? This is for me. It's not like I'm going to be looking at this clock to tell time. You know, shoot, I'm like 21st century. I'm not doing no analog clock <laughs> i'm just doing it for the fun of it okay if this is too heavy it won't swing so i tried to make this that's why i tried to make this wood as thin as possible and light as possible because the pendulum they gave with this piece is just like paper thin i mean it's so light and i already well i won't say i can tell this is lighter i can't tell doing that <laughs> but this is light this is cheap and light what I was thinking of doing is putting a hole in this and running some wire through it and then like wire it to the base of this. I don't know about that either. I have to figure it out. So I'm just explaining it to you because I doubt that I'm going to film me finagling it like that. While I'm still trying to figure out the pendulum, I'm going to try to figure out the height of this little paw. So. It has to be attached to this little knob here because when the pendulum swings, this top piece moves like this. So I have to figure out the height. So it's going to be attached something like that, I think. Because I, I mean, I don't know 
how else to do it and I don't I mean I'm going to use hot glue and I'm not just just not sure how how else to put it on there kind of want it about this height so it should do this so I'm going to have to cut maybe some off about this much off and see how that goes okay so I'm going to put it on there I mean I just don't think it's that secure if you have any suggestions about a better way to secure the top I wish I could put like a hole in that and then slide it onto it but I, I just don't I think this would just break apart because it's so thin to me that would be a better solution than to lay it against here and just hot glue it to death so I don't know but I'm just I guess I'll just try to hot glue I did do this before and and I mean it held it okay but you basically would have to leave your product alone <laughs> for it to be okay you know you can't you can't do a lot of handling of it I'm saying because I'm basically jury rigging it to work so I'm going to leave that on there to cool down and see how it goes. I ended up having to cut this piece, this bottom piece off shorter and shorter as far as trying to get the weight right so that it would move when the battery's in the clock. So, and I had to let go of the wire idea and just hot glue it on there. I wish I had a better solution. There probably is. I don't want to keep fooling around with this thing and I hot glued the little paw at the top and it moves so I'm just going to put together the clock face and just let this project be done because I am tired of it <laughs> the, the kit comes with a little washer on the for the back a little rubber washer then you have another metal washer on the front plus this little screw thing here and then you put on your hour hand you push that on you put your minute hand you push that on and I'm just going to I'm going to cut them shorter in a minute and then you put your second hand on so I'm going to trim them up and then turn it on so you can see it work these hands look so weird <laughs> <laughs> it sticks up to way too high for its size and you know because the numbers are so tight trimming it just was weird so uh whatever <laughs> let me put the battery in the back and then we'll see it work and there you are finished product and it's working it's moving i have to build something on the back of it so that it can be hung on the wall but I like it. I mean, I think it turned out great. I, I would love to get your comments below to tell me what you would have done differently to attach the pendulum and the, um, and the little part at the top. I realized that I should have made this much bigger because that way the hands won't look weird, cut off all stubby and short. But, you know, what you going to do? I had already made the template, so I had to just go with it. Aside from that, it's really cute. And I hope this project inspires you to do something similar. Maybe you'll fix all the problems I ran, to, ran into and do much better. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.